Now this is my thread chuck that I use for finials and I'm going to test fit this. This is the same size as I need for my female thread. I think those threads are are good. We'll go on to the next part of our project. You're looking at the top of my lid for my box. That's the inside. I've got a little decoration there. This will be the blackwood washer. And here's the future finial detail. It's threaded. That'll go through the top of my lid. And I need to secure my threads with a nut that I'm going to make out of this piece of lignum vitae. So that is the next step in our project. So it's going to be uh, threaded onto this with female threads. And we'll do that next. Okay, I've got the lignum vitae chucked up into my pin jaws. I'm going to do a little bit of profiling on this. And then I'm going to tap the female thread. I'm going to face off the front of this with a parting tool. Now I've got the dimension for the diameter marked on my vernier calipers. And I'm going to just guess. And I'm I'm actually right on the money. I don't like to put those on there when the lathe is spinning for some reason. I'm going to put a little dimple in the wood for my drill bit. That's always a good idea. And that's as deep as I really need to go. This is not going to be uh, very thick about that dimension. And again, I'm going to use a machinist tap for this. And written on the side of these, I don't think you can probably see that. This one is marked 3 8 16, which is the TPI. And that will correspond to the thread chasers that you are going to use. Just to show you how that lines up, I got my male thread chaser, and that just fits right in there. And that's one way to kind of test that and make sure you get the right uh, tap for your project. Now something else that is on the machinist tap is the drill bit you need to use. And this one's marked 5 16 So with the proper drill bit chucked up into a Jacob's chuck, in my tailstock, I'm going to turn my lathe on and just drill that hole. When you're doing this, your lathe does not have to be turning really fast. I'm turning about 525 or so. So I've got my tailstock locked into place and I'm simply going to advance this drill bit into the wood. Shavings are clearing pretty well. I'm going to back that off just just a little bit. Now I don't really need to go all the way through that. I'm I'm deep enough. So now I'm going to get ready for my tap and tap my female threads. Now I have my machinist tap chucked up into my Jacobs chuck. Now I'm not going to turn my lathe on when I do this. This is important. The only reason I've got this in this configuration is to line this up so my threads will go in perpendicular. And I've got my tailstock up here uh, and I, that's just kind of for alignment purposes. So uh, I'm going to just turn the piece that's in my chuck 
and the tap is really advancing by itself, what is really important to do is clear your shavings, especially when you first start out. Go about uh, one revolution. I'm, I'm starting to establish a nice thread in there. And you can see that the way I have this uh, into my tailstock, it's just perfectly lined up. And I can tell when I reach a new area where I'm threading, it's a little bit more difficult. Now what's important when you're doing this is if you can see the, the tap, it's tapered on the front end of that. It'll reach a point where it's flat and you need to go to that point or else your thread will be tapered. I think I'm in pretty good shape here. It's going in there nicely. I'm come out one more time. This is lignum vitae and it threads really well whether you're doing it by hand or with a tap. And we'll take that out, back that off. So just to test my fit, I have a finial blank with male threads on the end, and I'm going to just test this. These threads are the same, so that should fit on there. I just need to turn the rest of my nut, and we'll be ready to go. This is the completed box. Thank you once more for tuning in, and uh, throw me a comment if you have any questions at all. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.